Good morning, guys. So today we're going to read a book about sound waves because we talked about sound waves a little bit and we're going to talk about sound waves a little bit more. And we talked about how bats use sound waves. So we're going to look at some other ways that we can use sound waves. So this book is called Loud or Soft, High or Low, A Look at Sound. And so right from the beginning, we can tell that this is a nonfiction book because it's got that table of contents, okay? Which means this is gonna give us some facts about sound. So what is sound? Sounds are all around us. A dog barks, a bell rings, a motor hums. All this sound is a form of energy. And I heard some really good verbs or actions on that word. Let's look, a dog barks, a bell rings, so rings, a motor hums. So there's some, some different verbs that we heard. We hear sounds when something vibrates or moves back and forth. The vibration travels in waves. Our ears catch the waves and hear the sound. How sound travels. Sound waves travel in all directions. Remember that's different than light waves. We talked about light waves go in a straight line unless they reflect off something or refract or hit something and stop. Sound waves go all around us. If I'm talking, someone behind me can still hear me. They might not be able to hear me as well as if they're right in front of me, but they can still hear me. You can hear fireworks boom and crackle from anywhere nearby. Sound reflects or bounces off objects. An echo is a reflected sound. And we've talked about that word echo a lot in Saxon phonics. Remember we said you echo or you send back the same sound to me. So if I say the ah sound, you'll echo and say ah back. It said, the large shapes on the wall reflects the sound the instruments make. The shapes help, help fill the whole room with music. So even though this wall looks very interesting and different, it's just to help the sound go all over that whole big room with the music. It says, sound waves can travel through solid objects. You can hear a knock through a wooden door. Now remember, that's different from light waves too. When we hit something opaque or that solid object with a light wave, remember that light stops. It can't go through it. That's why it causes a shadow. Sound waves can travel through it. So for example, if you're sitting in a room, you might hear your parents talking in the other room, even though it's through a wall or through a door. Sound waves can also travel through gases. The air is made up of many gases. A police siren's wail travels in the air for several blocks. Sound can travel through liquids too. Many animals make noises to communicate with one another underwater. Dolphins talk underwater through squeaks, clicks, and other no noises. And dolphins are actually another animal that use that echolocation. They use those sound waves to, to locate where other animals are and to locate other things in the water too that they can't see. Pitch. Pitch describes how low or high an object or a sound is. The sound of two glasses clinking has a high pitch. The roar of a low and lion has a low pitch. So, and in our book, Simply Sound, we've kind of saw part of that too. Remember, they took the, the rubber band back really, really tight. And when they plinked it that time, it made a really high sound because it vibrated really quickly. When they pulled it back and plinked it, it didn't vibrate as quickly and it made a low sound. The faster something vibrates, the higher the pitch. The slower it vibrates, the lower the pitch. We just talked about that with that rubber band. Blowing air through a whistle slowly, then blow, then blow faster. The whistle should have a higher pitch the second time because it's vibrating faster. Any object's length can change the pitch. The shorter keys on the xylophone make a higher sound than the longer keys. So that's why if you look at things like the xylophone, you have these long keys and then you have shorter keys. A tuba makes a very low sound. The air travels a long way through the instrument. Air travels a short way through a flute. The flute this instrument makes a higher sound. So if you look at the tuba, look at how far the air has to go. The air has to go all the way through all these different pipes and then out the top. So it's gonna make that lower sound. Whereas where she blows in the air right here, 
it comes out right at the end. It doesn't have as far to go and it makes a higher pitch. So guitar and violin players push down on the strings of their instruments to change the notes. When they hold down a string, the part of the string that vibrates is shorter. The string vibrates faster and the pitch is higher. Volume, quiet or loud describes the sound's volume. You need to use a quiet voice in the library, but you can use a loud voice when you play outside. So when we're talking about pitch, we're talking about how high or low a sound on. When we're talking about volume, that's when we're talking about how quiet or how loud the sound can be. You can change the volume of a TV to make it quieter or louder, but what can make a sound seem louder without a button, a volume button or dial? A megaphone can. That's because the sound is louder when the sound waves are focused. Sound waves become less powerful as they spread out in the air. A megaphone helps focus the sound. So when I'm talking right now, my sound waves are going everywhere. But if I cup my hand, you can hear it a lot louder because I'm focusing, I'm sending those sound waves in more of a straight direction. Says so the cheerleader uses a megaphone to make her voice sound louder. Cupping your hands around your mouth will also make your voice sound louder. You can hear a quiet sound nearby, but it's harder to hear a quiet sound from far away. The sound waves spread out too much. So look here, what is she doing? Do you remember this from one of our other books? That's right, she's cupping her ear because she's gonna make that outer ear larger so it can collect more and more sounds. How sounds are made. To make a sound, an object must vibrate. So you cannot have a sound without a vibration. Remember, remember, even in our vocal cords, they vibrate to help us make those sounds. There are many ways to vibrate an object. These symbols make a sound when they're hit. The force from a push can make an object vibrate. Drummers make sounds by hitting their drums. When we talk and sing, air passes through our vocal cords and the air makes them vibrate. These kids sing in their school choir. We use air to make vibrations in wind and brass instruments. These students play their trumpets by blowing into them. Friction can also cause things to vibrate. Friction is caused when two things rub together. You can hear a sound when you rub your hands together. So it causes that friction. When a bow rubs on a violin string, the violin makes a sound. How many sounds have you heard today? All right, and then we have our glossary, which are some of the words that we heard in the book today. We have friction, which means remember that rubbing together. We have a gas, which a gas is a substance that helps you spread to fill any space that contains it. Okay, liquid is that wet substance that you can pour. Pitch, remember, is how high or low. And then reflect means to bounce back. And solid is a substance that has a definite shape. Remember, like a door, it has a definite shape. It's not going to change. And then vibrate means to move back and forth. And our vocal cords, remember that part of our throat, that let a pe person talk or sing. All right, guys, so what you're going to do next is you're going to connect to Seesaw, and you are going to try to go around your house and think of some different sounds that you can make and record yourself. It can be as simple as, remember, we can make friction with our hands. We can clap so you can feel the vibrations. You can use things like a balloon to where you can make that vibrate on the outside. You can even use things like when you're putting up pencils together, which will make a vibration. But you're just going to test making those sounds. See if you can make sounds that have a higher pitch or a lower pitch. Or see if you can make just a really interesting sound. So I'm really excited to see all your videos of all the sounds that you can find. Bye, guys. See you later.